Bartica is a closely knit community, so when a tragedy like this occurs, you can well imagine how tense things are. Uh, this area is known as the gateway to Guyana's prolific gold mines. And so you can say that mining is the lifeblood of this community. It's a very dangerous trade, but it is one that is pursued because of how lucrative it is. At the home of Donovan Washington, friends and family gather. Inside the home, his sister Crystal shows pictures of him. Yeah, it was just me and he in the house here. Mm -hmm. What's the last interaction you had with him? In the morning before he left, he said, going to make a fast spin and come back. Mm. Her brother never returned home alive. He left home to go on a job with his boss, Zahir, with whom he shared a family-like relationship. We just leave after five to go in the bush with the bus. Usually they would call and he would go and pick up the bus and go. And then I was home and I get the phone call and heard they get shoot up, the bus get shoot up. 31-year-old Donovan, a father of three, was the driver of the bike carrying his boss, Mohammed Sharif, known as Zahir, with a large quantity of gold, over 100 ounces, valued at $37 million in a backpack. Minutes after they left the mining site in the Armu Bagdam, two masked men riddled them with bullets. Donovan received the brunt of the gunfire, about eight bullets, his boss, two. We spoke with the police commander, Dion Moore. He told them were shot uh, multiple times to their bodies. The police conducted an investigation, but so far we haven't arrested a positive suspect at the moment. However, we have several teams working. The investigation is pretty active, uh, very tense, and there's only so much we can say at this time. At the home of Mohammed Sharif, a somber mood. The 49-year-old had been in mining for all of his working life, so he was well known. The police's theory is that someone understood his operations well and decided to pounce on him on what was a good payday. And maybe personal persons were looking at his uh, operation for a period. All of those who work in the mines know of the dangers associated with it. Donovan certainly understood that and would talk about it with his family, but he had a certain dedication to his work. He said that sometimes he's got worried because he said like when they're going for enough production, you know, you got focus because at least the last talk he was like, when I go, when I hear I got focus. Like that one he hides because he said we're going for production, we know. No, no, you are set to be there. So he's going like uh, he's there ready for go. Anything for he, he does God. That is Donovan. Donovan's uncle, Brian Pollard, works in the mines. The tragedy has left him and his colleagues shaken. Everybody feel hurt. Everybody know him going, coming. And there's what a lot of people talking about, you understand? It's like, you know, it shouldn't be happening like that way, you understand? We skater for things, but you know, we know that this would happen at that time and the flash so happened so fast. You understand? The Koyuni Mining District is one of the most active mining districts in the country with an estimated 873 mining operations. Last year, the production declared was over 44,000 ounces. Policing the area is not always easy. Yes, there are several operations in different areas and from time to time, yes, there are challenges. But most of the time you overcome those challenges. Problems do occur, but we have them addressed. Um, there were incidents in the past, but not of this gruesome nature, uh, where we append the perpetrators and bring them to justice as well. The people of Bartico would certainly like to see the police nab those who killed Mohammed Sheriff and Donovan Washington as their family and friends prepare for their funerals. At the home of Donovan Washington, his sister reflected on why he worked so hard. His family. Done for his kids. Son. I well, make sure that they go in the house. Kind of probably the helping the family build, finish build the house for each other mother and each kids. Mm -hmm. yeah. Reporting for the newsroom, I'm Neil Marks.